Hey guys, the Cuban here, and today I have an unboxing from the Cubicle.us. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I want to apologize. I haven't had any videos up in a while. I hope you guys uh, have all entered my giveaway for the Cube Twist House Cube. And yeah, let's get into this unboxing. So first of all, reason it's open is my little brother opened it up. He thought that it was something of his. He opened it up, but he thought it wasn't, and he just nicely left it here. So let's take a look at this. So this is the Diane Sheen um, 3x3 Die Pyramid. I don't think, I'm pretty sure I'm the first person on YouTube to have this. Probably will be the only one. It's a very weird cube. They also had a 4x4 version, so yeah, here it is. I got it in white, of course, and I wish it came in a box, because that'd be kind of nice. But it's just in a little sandwich bag. Um, I've also got two more Pyramid shades in here, as well as the business card. Do I get two business cards? Oh, I did. Nice. Yeah, I'll add that to my collection. Here's the two shades I got. Um, Floro Red. I don't know why I did that. And Floro Blue. So, yeah. Nothing else in this package. And let's take a look at the cube itself. So, it's, sm it's a lot smaller than I thought. And it's pretty weird. So, yeah, it has the kind of the shape of a Pyraminx here. But it also has the size of a 3x3. So you ba basically you solve it like a 3x3. And if I'm correct, there is a parity to this. So let's get some first turns in here. Okay, yeah. That's that's pretty weird. It's pretty difficult to turn. It's all normal Dianchin puzzles. Dianchin is known for making some pretty cool puzzles. But they're not always the best turning. So he has the standard color scheme as a normal one. Yeah, this thing does, it doesn't jumble though, it just shape shifts a little bit. I'm pretty sure this thing would look really cool scrambled. Let's do a checkerboard pattern here. It's really difficult to turn though, so yeah, obviously turning is not the best on this thing. There we go, so that this is probably the coolest checkerboard pattern I've ever seen. <clears throat> Let me zoom in here on it. I don't know why I'm so zoomed out. There you go, this looks really boss. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this thing won't be too difficult to solve other than the one parody on PLL parody. Looks pretty cool though out of the box. I'd, I don't know if I exactly recommend this puzzle. If you're more of a puzzle collector like I am, I'd recommend it because it's just good to have in your collection. Because they also do make a 4x4 version, I believe, for like 12 bucks. This costs 9 or 8 I don't know. It's pretty decent quality though. Uh, yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure it has a normal mechanism. Let me see how hard it is to pull out here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, just a standard mechanism. And if you look here on this corner that has like a billion stickers on it, it has a nice little screw on there, too. That's pretty interesting. It was a bit difficult to take out, though. I'll get back to you guys. Okay, so yeah, my overall first impressions on this cube are really good. This cube, I would definitely recommend to anybody who's just looking for a good cube for the collection. It obviously doesn't turn the greatest. But I can see this cube being very fun to solve. It doesn't turn good though, but it's a decent cube just to have for the collection. So yeah, it looks really awesome though. And the, the sticker quality is really good on this puzzle. So yeah, thanks for watching my unboxing on the Diane Chain 3x3 Die Pyramid. Thanks for watching guys, and see you later.